So we want to match the graphs with the functions. So we have four graphs, but they gave us a bunch of functions to kind of deal with. You're supposed to do some drag and drop. I'm not going to drag and drop, but I'm just going to kind of just kind of do it, just write them in. Um, so I really, you got to look at the graphs first. So I got this, the first two look like they're parabolas. So that means you have the parent functions y equals x squared. So if we look at this first one, notice that it's been opened down. That's reflection over the x-axis. So that means the, the, there should be a negative x squared present. But then it looks like it's been shifted vertically by so many. It looks like maybe like six or seven. It looks like the magic number is six here. So it looks like since it's been shifted vertically, I'm looking for maybe negative x squared plus six. So if I use my graphing calculator, I want to kind of double check that and see if that works. Um, so I have the negative x squared plus six. If I graph that, I need to change my window again. Zoom and change it back to number six. So it kind of mirrors that pretty good uh, for that one. It looks like the other one, it looks, all we, looks like all we really have is a shift to the right. So if it's just shift to the right, we should have a minus sign inside there. So we should be looking like y equals this um, x minus 6 squared probably for that one. So this one was y equals negative x squared plus 6. I'm thinking this one should be x minus 6 squared. So we've already done that one. Looks like the one right next to it. Let's see if that one actually fits this descriptive. Because again, inside, a minus 6 should make the graph move to the right 6. And there aren't any reflections or anything else going on. So if I hit that and clear that one off and type in in parentheses x minus 6 squared and graph that. Notice how it does kind of move it to the right. So I'm feeling pretty good about those two answers. So the other one, notice how, again, the parent function is really y equals absolute value of x. Those are the V-shaped graphs. But notice how this first one has been reflected down, but it moves left. So it looks like there should be a negative on the outside of the parentheses, because that's going to make it open down. But since it's been shifted left, there should be like a inside there should be like x plus. And it looks like what? The magic number there looks like there's threes here. Looks like it should be a plus three on the inside. Because if it's plus three, it should make it move left three. So if we check that one out. So the negative should make it open down on the outside because that's a reflection over the x-axis. So dash there. Hit the math button. Go to number. Number one is the ABS or absolute value. If I put the X plus three in there, then come out of there, hit graph. It does kind of mirror what that one's doing. This other one, so I should have in this one here, uh, Y equals the opposite of absolute value of X plus three. Notice how this one's also opening down, but it's been shifted vertically. So vertically should be on the outside. So I should have the the absolute value, the negative absolute value of x still on the outside there, but since it's been shifted vertically up three, that three should be on the ins, outside of the absolute value symbol instead of inside the absolute value symbol. So I think a plus three there should make it up move up three. So remember, inside it's always backwards. So if it's a plus three, it actually moves left. On the outside, if you see a plus three, it actually moves in a positive direction. So that's my thinking there. Let's double check that. So y equals Clear that one off. The opposite of the um, math absolute value of x come out plus three. Graph that one. And that kind of mirrors that as well. So the opposite of the absolute value of x plus three. So let's see if those were up there. Yeah, so that one would have been drag. Oop, no, that's not it. I think I, yeah, there it is there. So this one would be dragged in and dropped. And then this one here, do we see that one anywhere? Yeah, it's right next to it. That one there would have been dragged and dropped. So that would be the, the four we would have moved 
for those. So it's better if you can kind of identify the uh, the movements so you don't have to try to graph every one of those in a graphing calculator. Make yourself an educated guess of which ones you think it is and then just verify it with your graphing calculator. That should work for you.